This week, a local college student heads to the Iowa State Capitol to speak up on behalf of a bill that would require children to wear a helmet while riding on motorized bikes. For the one behind the effort, it comes from a place of pain she hopes can be transformed into something good. St. Ambrose freshman Olivia Lofgren is mourning the loss of a friend. We basically grew up together. And this me and Carolyn, when we were younger, we played soccer together. This picture explains us very well. A week before their senior year, Caroline found was riding her moped in Iowa City when it struck a tree and she died. It's just hard in general when you lose someone who was such a strong leader of our school. Um, she literally lived each day to the fullest. Through the pain of such a big loss, Olivia and her friends decided to make a difference. We had no idea what we were, what we were getting into. Um, what we've gone through is nothing compared to what you learn in government class. They formed Hope for a Helmet, taking their story to the state in order to pass youth helmet legislation. We want to do it to basically prevent others from going through what you've gone through. No one should have to start their senior year at a funeral. No one should have to um, cry when they walk into school and see everybody. Iowa and Illinois are two of the three remaining states with no helmet law, and Olivia wants to see that changed. We lead politically, we lead agriculturally. It would be really nice if we could lead when it comes to helmet usage as well. And if you would like to help out, Hope for a Helmet has a Facebook page. If you message them and contribute a small donation, you can receive a keychain.